<clears throat> what light through yonder window breaks? Uh... Go, Clara. Go, Juliet. It's your line. Oh, my. That's it. <laughs> oh, my. This is the hardest script of all the hardest scripts I've ever read in the whole entire world. Ugh. Can someone please explain to me why we're doing Romeo and Juliet for the final school play this year? Because this is a classic, and this show is one of the most important events of the year. Come on, let's try it again. Oh, my Romeo. <clears throat> Excuse me, Miss Juliet, but you need to show some cleavage, wipe the dust off your face, and run downstairs. Because Romeo's waiting down there and wants to talk to you. <laughs> and then I suppose Juliet showed some cleavage. <laughs> Juliet? Cleavage? Do you know what a classic is? This is Shakespeare. And it's too early for the nurse to come in, Giovanna. We're still in the garden scene. The nurse isn't in that scene. I'm sorry, Commander Valentina. It's just really hard for me to understand this character. Okay, let's do this. At its core, the play is about a rivalry. A rivalry between two families. No, 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 no. This play is really about love. It's about love at first sight, you guys. So we should talk about what you guys think about love at first sight, right, girls? Love at first sight? <laughs> Who actually believes in that? Mm. <gasps> My gosh, girl, you scared me. Everywhere I turn, you're there. Well, so are you. Are you here to buy stuff for the school play? Yeah, the end of the year show. We heard you're gonna sing something? Yeah, I will. But everything's all good. It's all ready. I don't need to worry about getting anything other than myself. I just need to show up and blow everyone away. <laughs> hmm. Camille! What? Uh... Do you believe in love at first sight? Well, that's a weird question, huh? <sighs> but the truth is, of course I do. Listen, to tell the truth when I... <gasps> Hello, Mom? Why did you what? Need Camille? You called me. Mom, I need to talk to you about something. What happened? Was it a bad grade? Well, Mom, there's something happening to me. You have mm -hmm. no idea. I'm at the hairdresser and the signal mm. is horrible. But I Mom, don't this is serious. This is about love at first sight. Love at first sight? So that's it, right? Do you really think this is a good idea, G? She doesn't seem to be having a good day. You can say that again. Definitely not a good day. Imagine her on a really bad day, huh? Uh-huh. Are you guys going to buy something, or are you just going to stand there like a couple of statues? Uh, uh, we actually came to do a couple of interviews, but forget it. You're probably really busy, and... Forget about nothing. Not after we came all the way here. Um, we want to know, what do you think about love at first sight? About love at first sight? <sighs> True love starts with the very first look. That one look, the look that lasts an entire lifetime. Well, I guess <sighs> when you see that person for the first time, your heart huh? skips a beat, your legs go numb, and your voice disappears. It's really hard to forget. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so who is he? Who is he? Tell us everything, please. He who, girly? Are you crazy? <laughs> gosh, you're just like every other girl that walks by. Now, were you actually going to buy something, or did you just come in to talk about a bunch of nonsense? And they'll feel the pain of a feud that will cost them the lives of those they love the most. Go hence to have more talk of these sad things. Oh. Mama? Are you okay? Uh, uh, uh Romeo and Juliet uh, is just so sad. Were you the one who left the book out here? Um, yeah. We're gonna act out the play for the end of the year show at school. Speaking of which, I'm conducting a survey to understand the character better. So then, Mama. What do you think of Love at First Sight? Mmm, what a wonderful smell. Oh, sweetie, but of course I believe in Love at First Sight. Mmm, I know that smell. <laughs> With us, it was more or less the same. You should tell her the whole story. Yeah! You never actually told me how you guys met. Was it Love at First Sight? Yes. No. <laughs> Well, it was more or less like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I was in such a rush, I didn't see a thing and... No, don't apologize. I need to pay more attention. 
Yeah, I have a party plate presentation yeah, and... Yeah, I'm here for that too, but I don't think anyone showed up. Yeah, no one's here. Hmm, all right then. Hmm, all right then. <laughs> all right then. Hmm, all right then. Hmm, <laughs> well, I'm gonna get going now. Uh, hey, hang on. The cookies, aren't you taking them? No, you can keep them. They're delicious. <laughs> but... They're all on the floor. Well, then keep this one. The nurse's costume? Balin has it, confirmed. Juliet's costume, also with Balin. Ah, uh, I think everything's good. The playbook, just in case I forget some of the words? On hand! Oh, for heaven's sake, girl, don't tell me you don't have it all memorized. Balin is gonna kill us. Of course it's all memorized. And after our little study, I feel more like the character than ever before. Oh, yeah? Well, show me then. Oh, my Romeo. <laughs> that was perfect. And the Oscar award is going to you. Your loyal nurse approves it all. Huh? <gasps> but let's go now, because Romeo's in a hurry. Uh. We're coming, Balin! Oh, just look at Where her. have you guys been? <gasps> Sorry, we got here as fast as we but could. But you weren't fast enough. Someone else was faster and already got the stage to rehearse. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do you mean? This time slot was ours. We reserved mm -hmm. it. Let's take a look. Hold it, hold it. Stop right there. You can't pass this point. But we already reserved a rehearsal slot for our play today. Well, you won't be able to rehearse today because Arthur from the first F is doing a sound check and the set is pretty top secret. And it's super noisy too, right? Who does this guy that we don't even know think he is to come in here and take our rehearsal slot? He's Arthur from the first F and that's all I have to tell you. I can't believe this. Let's start rehearsing somewhere else and we'll come back later. <sighs> Oh, I'm so sorry. I came in so quickly, I didn't even hear that you were saying something to the group. No, no, it's all good. I'm gonna start my presentation now. Oh, I have a presentation, too. Oh, yeah, I came here for that, too. And everyone's gonna love my suggestions. This year's Blue Team's Year. The Blue Team's Year? What are you talking about? I came here to win. I just happened to be the president for the Yellow well, Team, and we know? are... Well, what do you I'm the president of the Blue Team. My team is fighting for a cleaner and more organized system for the school. We want more science books to be stocked in the library, more classes with master lecturers, periodic cleanups around campus done by the students, and of course, we will abolish half of the end of the year trips that completely deplete the school budget. Huh? My gosh, you're so strict. We want the faculty to make a space that's more creative and open. That's why we propose culinary and massage classes, occasional evening drum circles, and monthly trips because we really only learn effectively through traveling. All right then. Hmm. All right then. May the best one win. <sighs> oh my. Shh. Not right now, Clara. Oh, me. Logarithms oh, again, no. <laughs> Attention, let's Professor, go. we wanted to talk to you about this year's talent show. We're going to be doing a Shakespearean play. Wonderful. A classic is a classic. Speaking of which, I just posted on the wall the time slots for the lineup for everyone to look over. Show. Ours is the same as always, right? What do you mean? I mean, for the last four years, our time slot has always been set at 7.45. Same time as always. <gasps> no! I can't believe this! Look at this! <gasps> now this Arthur guy has stolen our time slot for his presentation! Oh, how can this even happen? Mm. Oh, ladies, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that you guys were so attached to that time slot. No one else has a fixed time slot. But who is this guy? And how can he just show up like that and steal our time and our rehearsal slots? Oh, it's Arthur from the first F, right? And of course, huh? that's all there is to say. Uh. Relax, Clara. There's nothing else this guy can do to mess us up anymore. Forget about him. And let's just rehearse because the stage is free right now. Hey, Arthur! I'm the biggest fan you've got! <laughs> I came out here just to see you. Arthur! 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 Oh, they're already rehearsing. 
For the end of the year show? Not exactly. It's for the crowd set up by Arthur from the first act. Ah, I'm so angry! I think you need to trust me, sweetie. Just believe me. I know how it feels to feel that way. I felt the same anger and towards your mother. Can you believe it? <laughs> ah, victory is certain. Huh? <sighs> I cannot believe she really did that with my posters. Go, Clara. It's your turn. It's no use, guys. I'm just way too angry at the so-called Arthur to concentrate. Go, Clara. Just forget about him. The end of the year show is almost here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who is that gentleman? His name is Romeo and a Montague, the only son of your greatest enemy. My only love sprung from my only hate. Too early seen unknown and known too late. Prodigious birth of love it is to me. That I must love a loathed enemy. I'm in this room for a meeting with my team. I'm so sorry, but my team is having a meeting in here right now. To have a culinary class? Ha ha ha. But I already reserved this room with the faculty coordinator beforehand. I got here, the room was empty, I came in. I'm so sorry, but sometimes that's just the way things turn out. All right then. Eh, all right then. May the best one win. Camille! I've been looking for you everywhere! Your phone is going straight to voicemail! Oh, don't even say it. The battery died. It's okay. I'm glad I found you. Come with me. I have a job for you right now. Right now? No, no, I can't, Jonathan. I had something planned. I already canceled yesterday, and I can't do that again today. But what could possibly be more important to you than the new Calvin campaign for skinny jeans? Skinny jeans from Calvin? You serious? <laughs> campaign? Oh, I'm so sorry, but no, no, I can't. This engagement is really important. Kind of life or death. It's about love at first sight. Sure, that's fine. I'll call Clara. I think I might like having a new face. No! No, no. The campaign's mine. I'll deal with this issue tomorrow. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Oh, no, I remember. The costumes. That's covered. Everything's back home. And the music? It's all good. Recorded on my tablet. Huh? Now what's up with her, huh? That face goes beyond theatrical interpretation. That's true, Clara. What's going on with you? You were the most excited about being Juliet. Me? Nothing. I don't know. I think it's the talent show. And that guy who keeps ruining this moment that was always so important to us. Oh, stop it. That's ridiculous. Since when have we ever let some guy that we don't even know ruin our show? We like some fabric <laughs> to decorate our stage? That's right, meters and meters of red fabric to make a real pretty background for our play, which is gonna be a great success. I'm sorry, it's all gone. A boy came in here before you guys and bought everything. Wait, which boy was this? Please don't tell me that it was... It was Arthur from the first F. Who on earth does this Arthur from the first huh? F think he is? Who on earth does that Marsha think she is? Huh? Who does that woman think she is? <sighs> Hey, what happened, Andre? That Marsha girl, the president of the yellow team. She planned a lunch rally at the same time that I scheduled my demonstration. She was giving away free food to everybody, and of course, nobody came to my event. It must be really good, dude. Honestly, I'm on my way there now, too. Oh, blessed evening. I am afraid, being in the night, all of this but a dream. Uh, uh Juliet. I'm coming, G. I come, nurse. Don't forget that. Yeah, I come, nurse. I'm sorry, girls, but my anger is killing me. Can I tell you something, Clara? Go, talk fast, Valen. You need to do something about this. This anger you have towards that boy is messing up our performance and it's annoying. Uh-huh. And it's mm -hmm. causing more harm than it should because you let yourself get so angry. You can't even concentrate, girl. You're both right. I need to figure this out right now. And so do I. 
Yeah, but how? It's okay, G. I'm gonna go after this guy and find out who he is and tell him everything that I've been holding in from the start. I swear, I'll be great in the play tomorrow. I promise. That's right, Mama. I looked and looked and I still don't know who he is. This guy ruins everything. Oh, I'm so angry at him. Hmm, you know, sweetie, these kinds of feelings can be something else entirely. Huh? <laughs> what she's trying to tell you is that it's possible that you might be falling in love with that boy. Uh, uh, have you guys gone crazy? I've never seen this guy in my life. Either way, anger and love can sometimes come together. That happens to people sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh, so sorry. I didn't know you were in here. I came to get this. Uh-huh. I thought you came over here to gloat about your victory because your free food was a success. It wasn't. It's still going on. Don't you want to go and try some? No, it's fine. I think I'll stay here a little longer, in case someone comes. Uh, to be honest, my mom made all the food. I don't actually know how to cook that well. I only know how to make cookies. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. I'm leaving. Mm. Mm. Hey, wait! See? That's how it happened for us. Anger, rivalry, and love. Uh-huh. <laughs> kind of like Romeo and Juliet, right? Yeah, and I knew it for certain from the first time I tried that cookie. Tell her the truth, Andre. It wasn't the cookie. Our case was really one of love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> you see? That's just it. I've never even seen this guy before, and so I can't possibly be in love with him. And this is the last time we're going to talk about my non-existent love life. Okay, Mom? Dad? This is mega awkward. Oh, so you're still there? Oh, my love, I want to stay by your side for the rest of my life. 100% together. May it be eternal and last forever. Camille is super. show of Arthur from the first F. Oh, is it much longer? No. I just hope that the so-called Arthur or his fans don't destroy the stage. Oh, ah! to go. Ah. 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 You know what? I can't fight my curiosity anymore. I need to know what that guy's face looks like. Um, How on earth will people pay any attention um, to Shakespeare after this complete and total hysteria? You know what? I really need to see this guy's face myself. Not you too, Valen. It's an anthropological curiosity. Oh. You coming or not? No, never. I don't want to know who that guy is anymore. I just don't care. Fine. Then stay close to your cell phone. I'll let you know. Mm. Mm. Oh. He's amazing. Oh. But soft. What light through yonder window breaks? Oh, my Romeo. Oh, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night being over my head as is a winged messenger of heaven. Uh. Oh, bright angel, for thou art as Ooh. glorious to this night being o'er my head, as is a winged messenger of heaven. Uh, uh. Juliet! Hey, Clara, you have to say something. Uh. So I guess this is what happens. First the anger, the confusion, and then a heart that feels like it's gonna explode right out of my chest. 
My voice completely disappeared and I can't make my legs stop shaking. Was it like this for my parents? Romeo and Juliet? No one told me it was like this. But we can't breathe. And you don't know what to think or what to say. I think all the love stories that have ever been written in the world would never be able to fully depict what I'm feeling right now. This is the most important thing of all the most important things that have ever happened to me in my entire life. But what now? What's gonna happen now? Makeup Party Pose, pose, selfie, wow! Beauty Glitter Glamour 